Some of the first victims of Saturday's attack were young people at a music festival in the desert bordering the Gaza Strip. Officials say 260 people were slaughtered at that event and an untold number were taken hostage. Joining us now is Natalia Kazarati. Her son was at the Supernova Music Festival. She has not heard from him since before the attack. Natalia, I'm so, so sorry. Tell me what you know right now. To tell you the truth, I don't know anything about my son since uh, Saturday morning that I heard that my son is in the party. Uh, I didn't get any information about my son. My son, his, his name is Keshet. He's 21 years old. He loves music and he loves festivals. And he's been there with another friends from places in the world. Uh, the picture was a moment before Orion from Mexico, and uh, we are waiting. Have we are heard? waiting to hear uh, news about my son and about many other Moors that are still missing without any clue about them. Have you heard from any of his friends that he went with? Natalia, have you heard from any of his friends that he went with? I've heard from a friend of him that uh, my son uh, made a phone call saying in, in the morning of the party that he was uh, injured in his leg and that his, uh, the, bed, the situation is very bad and that's it. Uh, they've been under attack from all over. They couldn't continue speaking, uh, and there is no more information. What has the Israeli government done to reach out to you? Nothing. I don't even think they know about my name and my son and about us. I'm shocked by that. Really? Nothing? Nothing, totally nothing. We try to, we try with help of many people to get to any kind of information of hospitals and police and army and nothing. And any official uh, place will speak with us or trying to understand what's happening or offering any help, nothing. You've told us you've given DNA. Who have you given DNA to? To the police station. And just in case what? I try not to think about that. I really try to stay positive. Uh, people say about uh, different videos on the media. I, I'm, I'm against uh, even try to to check them, to watch them. I will be, I'm able only to get uh, facts that been uh, checked, you know? I want, uh, I want to watch those videos or check pictures that been sent from terror groups. I understand that the videos have been horrible and it's it's understandable to only want verified information. Um, if he is among the hostages, what do you want the Israeli government to do? I want my son, I want the government to bring back my son and I want my son to come back home alive. That's the only thing I want. That's the only thing I'm waiting for. Do you support the government releasing prisoners on its end to do so? Uh, I'm not in a position. I, I think about other things or political or any other issues. I'm a mother and the only thing I, the only thing I can think about it right now is my son. And everything I can do as a mother I will do that my son will come back home. Of course, I completely understand that. Your son is Keshet Kazarati Kalfa. He's 21 years old. Yes. 
Um, Natalia, thank you very much for joining us, and, and we really feel for you. I would like to say, go ahead. As, I, I would like, please, to pass a message please. in Hebrew to my son. Keshet, Yakir Sheli, Anachnu Mechakim Lecha, Anachnu Maminim Becha, Anachnu Rodi Yodim Shata Tachzor Abaita, Beshalom. Thank you. Natalia, thank you very much, and I'm so sorry. Thank you.